Boeing Starliner was designed to be one of two spacecraft developed under a NASA program aimed at transporting astronauts to and from the International Space Station using American-built spacecraft. The program's goal was to reduce dependence on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft and establish a reliable and competitive American alternative. While SpaceX successfully achieved that goal with its Crew Dragon spacecraft, launching astronauts safely and repeatedly since 2020, Boeing's Starliner has faced a very different trajectory. Repeated delays, serious technical issues, and mounting financial losses have put the entire program in jeopardy. Today, there are strong signs suggesting that the Starliner may not just be delayed, it might be completely canceled. In this video, we'll go through the major warning signs pointing to the possible end of the Starliner program. But before we dive into all the details, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates. Starliner's problems began long before its first crew ever stepped into the spacecraft. The first uncrewed test flight in 2019 failed to reach the International Space Station due to a software error that caused the vehicle to perform incorrect maneuvers. Another critical software issue, discovered just before re-entry, could have destroyed the spacecraft if it hadn't been caught in time. An internal review later identified 80 different problems that Boeing had to address before trying again. After that failure, Boeing conducted a second uncrewed flight in 2022. That mission did reach the International Space Station, but still encountered problems including failed thrusters and a helium leak. Though it docked successfully, it was clear the vehicle still wasn't ready for human passengers. The first crewed flight test was delayed multiple times after engineers found flammable tape inside the spacecraft that was not safe for use in orbit and parachute components that didn't meet safety standards. These discoveries added more delays and cost Boeing hundreds of millions of dollars in rework and testing. Boeing finally launched its first crewed Starliner mission in mid-2025, carrying two veteran NASA astronauts on what was supposed to be a short demonstration flight to the International Space Station. But even before liftoff, there were clear warning signs that the mission wasn't ready. Engineers had flagged several outstanding technical issues in the weeks leading up to launch, including persistent helium leaks, unresolved concerns with the spacecraft's reaction control thrusters, and software anomalies that hadn't been fully tested in operational conditions. Boeing, under immense pressure to fly after nearly a decade of delays and over 1.4 billion U.S. dollars in losses, pushed forward regardless. The launch itself went smoothly, and the Starliner capsule reached orbit without any immediate failures. However, the problems began to surface almost immediately after docking with the International Space Station. Engineers monitoring the spacecraft from the ground detected multiple new helium leaks, despite Boeing's earlier assurances that the issue had been mitigated. Helium is critical for the propulsion system, as it is used to pressurize the fuel tanks that power maneuvering thrusters. A loss of helium pressure can compromise the spacecraft's ability to perform burns during deorbit and reentry. In addition to the leaks, there were malfunctions in the reaction control system. At least five of the small maneuvering thrusters exhibited unstable performance, with some failing to respond to commands or underperforming during routine system checks. These thrusters are essential for fine-tuning the spacecraft's position during docking, undocking, and reentry operations. Several of the thruster issues were traced back to overheating and questionable reliability under prolonged operation. Problems that had been flagged in previous test flights but were never fully resolved. Software glitches also plagued the mission. During system diagnostics, engineers noted anomalies in the spacecraft's flight control software. These bugs had the potential to impact attitude control and guidance accuracy, critical systems for a safe return. Though none of the software issues caused an emergency situation, their presence added further risk to what was already a compromised mission. With all these problems piling up, it became increasingly clear that Starliner could not be trusted to safely bring the astronauts home. After a series of joint assessments between Boeing and NASA flight controllers, the decision was made to leave the astronauts aboard the International Space Station while Starliner returned to Earth uncrewed. This marked a historic first. 
Never before had a spacecraft launched with astronauts and returned empty due to safety concerns. Originally, the Starliner crewed flight test was scheduled to last just over a week. Originally, the Starliner crewed flight test was scheduled to last just over a week. However, due to the spacecraft's problems, the astronauts ended up staying aboard the International Space Station for more than two months, waiting for a reliable ride home. In the end, they returned aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule that was already docked at the station as part of another rotation mission. It was an ironic and highly public reminder of just how far ahead SpaceX is in terms of operational reliability. To make matters worse, reports surfaced that the two astronauts were not compensated for the extra time they spent in space. Under current NASA regulations, astronaut pay is tied to their mission length and duty status, but these systems had not been designed to handle unplanned extensions due to spacecraft failure. This event was a significant turning point. Not only did Starliner fail to complete the mission it was designed for, but the fact that its crew had to be rescued by the very company Boeing was supposed to compete with exposed just how far behind the program has fallen. It also, after the failed return of astronauts during Starliner's first crewed mission in 2025, many experts are now saying that NASA should not continue investing in the program. Boeing's spacecraft has been under development for over a decade, and during that time, it has failed to complete a single successful crew rotation mission. Despite that, the government has already spent several billion dollars on Starliner, and Boeing has absorbed over $1.4 billion in internal losses on top of that. Boeing originally received a fixed-price contract worth $4.2 billion United States dollars from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration in 2014. However, due to repeated delays, test failures, redesigns, and ongoing technical problems, Boeing has reported more than $1.4 billion in additional internal losses on top of the original contract value. These extra losses were not reimbursed by NASA and came directly out of Boeing's own budget. Combined with the taxpayer-funded contract, the total financial toll of the Starliner program has now exceeded $5.6 billion. If NASA decides to give Boeing another chance with a second crewed flight, it would likely cost hundreds of millions more. Experts estimate that an additional attempt could cost anywhere between $400 and $600 million. Meanwhile, NASA now has multiple alternatives that are fully capable of meeting current and future human spaceflight needs. SpaceX is the most obvious example. Its Crew Dragon spacecraft, launched aboard the Falcon 9 rocket, has already completed many crewed flights since its first successful mission in 2020. Meanwhile, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration is no longer in a position where it needs to keep funding the Starliner program out of necessity. Unlike a decade ago, the agency is not desperate for options. Today, NASA has multiple reliable alternatives that are fully capable of handling current and future human spaceflight needs. SpaceX is the most obvious example. Its Crew Dragon spacecraft, launched aboard the Falcon 9 rocket, has already completed many crewed flights since its first successful mission in 2020. The Falcon 9 rocket, which also launches satellites and cargo missions, has a success rate of over 99% across more than 300 launches. The rocket is reusable, which significantly reduces cost. A single seat on Crew Dragon costs NASA approximately $55 million United States dollars, compared to Boeing's estimated $90 million per seat. So not only is SpaceX more reliable, but it is also cheaper. At this point, SpaceX has proven itself to be 100% dependable in delivering astronauts to orbit and bringing them back safely. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.